Hello everyone. So welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I'm going to show you how to control the wet look of the environment with a single point with material parameter corrections collections. So as you can see with this single variable I can control the wet look of the whole world like this so if you look closely it affects even the leaves of these trees and bushes also this rock and also this landscape each layer of this landscape material and each blade of this grass so let me show you and I'm going to use this to drive our dynamic weather system right so let's get started I'll go back to my project okay so this is uh, how was it in at the beginning and I have also put some rocks to demonstrate the effect and so first I'll open my landscape material <coughs> right okay so I'm going to define a new material function here all right so let's go to materials and textures and material functions I'll call this MF global first thing and the next thing is I'm going to create something called this material parameter collection I'll call this MP global right I'll open this and here I'll define a scalar parameter called rain level then I'll open my newly created material function MF global and here I'll take that mat parameter right this collection parameter node and here I can access this MP global parameter collection I just created and here I can select the rain level like this <coughs> then I'll define another function input call and I'll call it roughness roughness and as the preview I'll okay we don't need a preview and I'll change this one to a scalar right then so this is what I'm going to do so if I change the roughness of a material into zero that material going to look like wet so here what I'm going to do is I get the whatever the roughness material value of the current material and subtract it with the rain level like this then plug it here I'll call this as output as roughness okay now I'll apply this and go back to our landscape material and I'll 
drag and drop this one here okay so I'll break this one and I'll break uh, this material into attributes like this Similarly, I'll select this one and I'll use material attributes. I'll untick here so that we get this all the parameters. So I'll connect one by one like this and normal offset event occlusion and right. So instead of directly Connecting this roughness to this roughness. I'll first connect it here and then here Right then I'll hit apply <coughs> Let's wait until the shaders are compiled and I'll or meanwhile I'll open my MP global parameter correction collection here like this okay shaders are compiled now let's try changing the value of this rain level here right so as you can see we get the desired effect so we get this wet look in our landscape if I put it like 1 so it is completely dry if I put it 0.9 it is wet okay so now one small problem the land is land looks wet but this rock and these tree leaves and this grass doesn't look wet so how to fix it let me show you okay I'll put this here and here this M3 leaves master so this is the this is the I don't need this this is the master material of tree leaves that means each of these trees these leaves so this grass and these leaves of this bush and this one everything is created as an instance of this material like this so open here and we can change the textures then apply to other mesh so therefore if I do some change here then all those changes will be reflected in other material instances as well so that's the, that is the reason we are using material instances and similarly this is for grass and I have another master material like this only with the normal map and a base color the reason I am not using this material to other stuff like rocks is that the tree leaves material has this wind component but we don't need to uh, wind component for the static objects like rocks so yeah we have this material and we have this material now what I'm going to do is we have this uh, small function which is created and I'll drag and drop it into our M leaves master and instead of this roughness here I will plug it here and connect like this and hit apply right similarly for this M master material I will drag and drop this MF global node then plug this roughness input here and here right hit apply and wait till compilation okay done so right now I'll open this one here again okay. okay now let's see so the rain level is zero we could we got this dry look on the leaves as well and I'll change this to 
so yeah we got this wet look in our rocks and in our yes grass blades as well and also what about these guys yes we got this but it's not clearly visible uh, yes we have it here even though if it is not so clear as in these flat surfaces let's see here okay right we got the change all right so that's what I wanted to show for today and for the next episode I'll show you how to bend these grass leaves grass blades and these other tree leaves as the character moves around the world according to the location of the character to show that character is colliding with those grasses okay see you in the next next video goodbye and one more thing so this wet look is only the beginning of our dynamic weather system so in future we will extend this raining system into how to make the sky dark and the cloud level and the cloud color and also the fog so everything that has to change according to the nature that when the rain is about to fall and when the rain is falling and when the rain is over so right look forward to that and thank you